Have annoying crashing or glitches in your favorite games? NVIDIA just dropped driver 581.57, and it's packed with fixes, including that annoying Steam crash bug plaguing NVIDIA users. New driver versus the old one. Let's see if this update actually fixed the crashes. This new driver addresses eight major gaming bugs and two general issues. The Steam overlay stability fix is massive because it was causing random crashes across multiple titles. If you've been alt-tabbing and coming back to crashed games, this is your update. Let's break down what got fixed. Hell Is Us had random red and green visual glitches, fixed. Black Myth Wukong had graphical glitches after R580 drivers, patched. Madden 26 stability crashes, resolved. Games crashing with Chinese character install directories while smooth motion enabled, addressed. Total War Warhammer 3 graphics corruption, gone. Delta Force stability issues with smooth motion, fixed. Claire Obscure Expedition 33 display artifacts after sleep, solved. Seven game fixes plus Steam overlay crash fix. Non-gaming fixes are solid too. Alienware AW2524H monitor black screen after display setting changes, completely resolved. NVIDIA actually listened to community complaints on Reddit and forums. This is what driver updates should look like. Before I tell you known issues, please smash subscribe on my channel Crowner because on this channel we will review every all new drivers and much more. Known issues still not fixed. Counter-Strike 2 text distortion at lower than native res, still broken. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth light flickering, still there. These are on the radar, but no timeline yet. This driver brings game-ready optimizations for new DLSS 4 titles. Arc Raiders October 30th, The Outer Worlds 2, and Vampire Bloodlines 2 October 21st. All support DLSS 4 multi-frame generation, which RTX 5070 crushes. The RTX 5070 specifically benefits huge, because R580 branch had more Blackwell issues. The Steam overlay fix alone makes this worth installing. We're testing both drivers across multiple games to see if fixes deliver smoother gameplay. Results coming up.
Yo, this is BS. We build up all these cyber defenses. Then Georgia says, ship out. We're giving the base the Pax Armada. And NATO just rolls over? That's politics. NATO's not up to a fight with the worst PMC in Europe. We are. Tag us in. Look, I'd love to teach Pax a lesson. But if staying here might kick off World War III, I don't want it that bad. Well, maybe Command's got a plan.